Hello, welcome back to episode 10 of Camping Buddies, the podcast. I'm here with Moles, Honky, and Kelly. That's actually... none of their real names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you false information. That was great. <laughs> I literally started it. I, I don't oh, know you did start it? Yeah, I don't know if that was a are practice we... round, but you killed it. There you go. That, that's literally all, right. all you had to fucking do. Yeah. Episode yeah. 10. Again, Episode you covered the basics. Uh, yeah, that's all you have to do when you open it. Um, the first thing that I wanted to bring in today that I talked about with Hector was dreams, right? We're going to get into dreams because uh, Alyssa and Kelly obviously weren't present for the conversation. So... <laughs> I will say that we are taking this directly from another podcast that we were listening to, um, but it was really it was a really good topic, and I really want to see how you guys feel about it. Yeah, can we be sued for copyright? Or yeah, yeah, uh, can someone sue us? That'd be cool. Put us on the map. Um, no. If if they <laughs> get us noticed, people who it is, if they sued us, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be I'm a little bit cool. Actually. And the cost of what? Losing money. Publicity. That's not really cool. <laughs> yeah, this 73 subscriber YouTuber, he's infringing on my multi million dollar podcast. Don't yeah. do it. They're fucking petty. Yeah, they're no, it's not that bad though. Um <clears throat> but yeah, so the topic is dreams. Basically, we got into depth, right? We're like, okay, what if you could replay your dreams? Would you invest in a machine immediately? Like, not even a second thought. Would you invest in a machine that can yeah. save and record your dreams so you can rewatch them? Yeah, definitely. Mm, absolutely. I have a lot of dreams that I really like, and then I oftentimes try to fall back asleep to get back in it. <laughs> that never works. Yeah. That never fucking works. Well, That's for worked me, for me does. like four times at least. Yeah, it's like, one in like 500 i'd say yeah you really rolled the dice there <laughs> yeah kelly what were we you? talking like just dreams or memories too um mm -hmm. i feel like dreams and memories like kind of coexist right? yeah because like no. you're in yeah and so in dreams i guess yeah your dreams, dreams are dreams part of your memories you've seen at yeah. some point in your life yeah that's that's true i didn't think about it like that they are a part of your memories they yeah yeah. So, yeah, and that's I why would like, too. And that's why it's really weird. Like sometimes people will have dreams with reoccurring areas, and it's like, uh, like people have the same uh, area in their dreams as as do other people. Like, uh, mm -hmm. like just like this empty yellow room with a million other rooms, and just like a long hallway or some shit like that. But no one's ever been to a place like that. But they've all had the same place of a dream. So it's weird. Are you talking um, about like a single specific person or like a collective consciousness kind of thing? Uh, no. So I'm saying like one person could dream about, uh, okay, like a, a place, uh, and then another person and another person and another person somewhere in the world will also have dreamt about that place, but none of them have actually been there. Which is super fucking cool to me. Okay, like, yeah, so that's like collective consciousness. I don't know. I when you said collective consciousness, I was thinking of like the fucking what is it, the cerebro? Like I was thinking yeah, about bro. fucking Professor X just talking about fucking mutants like, or something. Yeah, no. I, I don't. I didn't understand what you meant by collective consciousness. But um, yeah, no. So. So first off, initially the initial investment into rewatching these things, uh, two, Porn. Porn. yes, <laughs> right, right, Porn. no, literally. literally, exactly, like that's what I was thinking. I've had so many good fucking sex dreams. I'm sure all of you have, dude. If I could, like, <laughs> if I could just watch myself in a porn, I'd never visit a site again. You know Would you I mean? really want to watch yourself, like fucking though? No. See, well, you have to feel see, it that's too. That's the best part. See, that's the best part. Would you feel though. it? Oh, dude! If they added that shit, oh my god! 
good. If 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 shit was that high tech, oh, no question. Yeah. We'd probably be in time travel anyways. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I I totally lost my train of thought right there. <laughs> You're just talking about watching yourself fuck someone in your dreams, right? Right. See, myself, me, myself. I know I like the POVs, right? So, like, therefore, <laughs> the dream would be a POV. <laughs> therefore, I wouldn't be watching myself fuck. I'd just be fucking my like. You don't I, think I, it'd be third person? <laughs> I don't think it would not be third person unless I wanted it to be. Third person experience. <laughs> Out of body, yeah, dude. It's mm-hmm. like that's what I'm saying. Like I it's just this shit that you can replay over and over and over again. And like I feel like dreams have the answers to a lot of the questions you ask sometimes, but then like you never end up remembering the dream sometimes. True. Like I feel like your dreamscape, you're the most honest with yourself. Like how many times have you been like I probably like shouldn't buy this in real life and then your dream like you just imagine yourself with it being nothing but happy and it's like yo fuck what the haters think like i want this now i i've already seen myself with it it looks great yeah yeah because like sometimes sexually you like that's like opening your deepest desires that you don't even know oh fuck yeah i mean i'm sure Alyssa would like just Loves getting pissed on in her dreams. Like it's. I don't have a piss kink. <laughs> well, now you're gonna dream about it, and you're gonna find out the truth. <laughs> yeah. I know for a fact I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, <What? laughs> it's not. It's not a well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then you piss yourself. (laughs) Wet dreams. Right. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Are wet dreams like a common thing? Like for the regular person? Uh, I think it's like a puberty thing, right? Yeah, I think you experience it the most when you're like in uh, pubescent. When you're in puberty, yeah. Yeah. I don't like mm. I haven't had a wet dream in since I was like maybe fifteen. I honestly don't even know if I ever have. Well you've had a piss dream. Thank you for that. <laughs> or like I don't know why you don't say Honk has a piss kink when he's the one that obviously does. No, he was talking really? about Hong. It was plus. showing the truth. Yeah, like what is what like maybe she woke me. you up. Maybe, oh. maybe maybe she woke you up, and like you like didn't see the rest of the dream, but the urinal was like just gonna morph into like your girlfriend. Like you were gonna. Blink, oh yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like it was just interrupted. Your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, holy shit! Like oh, you listen, guys you're dreaming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. But, um. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what we we're referring to, I cannot just watch like remember. two or three other episodes. Yeah, <laughs> we, talk Whole stories in there. we talk about it extensively, really. <laughs> Little excessively, in my <laughs> Yeah, neither here nor there. Right, but um, yeah, like an actual like, what defines a wet dream? Like, is it actually waking up and you've like ejaculated, or is it just like having a sex dream? I feel like you have to ejaculate. Yeah. Because otherwise it's just a good dream. I don't think I've ever had like an actual wet dream. Yeah. Is there something wrong with me? Yes. Thank you. There's a lot wrong with you, but I don't think it has anything to do with not having a wet dream. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. (laughs) You're welcome. Um, So I actually also want to get your guys' opinions. So one, the whole investment into these into this machine that can replay your dreams, so you can like look through all these like tapes, whatever, blah blah blah. But two, it's like a red pill blue red pill blue pill. Jeez, uh, would you rather dream or would you rather uh skip the dream? Like as soon as you go to sleep, just wake up immediately. Uh, at the same time you would had you had a dream but feeling like immediately refreshed 
Like you just blinked and you're just up and refreshed. No, I don't care about being refreshed in the morning. I'm not a morning person already, and I don't care to change that. Exactly. (laughs) Having like the guaranteed like being refreshed thing is interesting because I don't think I've ever woken up actually refreshed. Minus when a kid, I feel. Yeah. But like, I mean, I don't know. That sounds kind of kind of nice, but I still want to fucking dream. Yeah, dreams are way too fucking cool to skip over. Yeah. yeah. I, I I like I really love my dreams. I actually for a while, I haven't done this in a while, but I used to like try to train myself to do more lucid dreams. Like I, I try mm. I kept on trying to like figure out the tactic that I use anytime I had a lucid dream. Like, okay, what did I do like when I was going to sleep? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I think you just drink apple juice. Does apple juice help with lucid dreaming? That's what I used to try to do, but it never fucking worked. Yeah, it's supposed to be like warm milk or something, I think. But like cheese equals nightmares. I don't know. It was, it was really weird. Like ice cream oh. or something, I've heard. Yeah, it's something dairy related. No, I just heard t- apple juice. Maybe you have to suck a titty. Ooh. Suck a titty. Yeah. Damn, I'm never gonna. Did, listen, would would you let, suck titties before having lucid dreams? Is that what you're Alyssa saying? Alyssa has like an unlimited supply of lucid dreams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's sucking her own titty in bed. Fucking binky. Or she's sucking Alan's titties. Alan's like, I'm sleeping oh, yeah. good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Alan sleeps so well. Oh my god. <laughs> what if it's just, what if it's just white shit in general? Maybe Kelly's onto something. What? What? Yeah, white stuff. What am I? What do you? What do you think? I'm, I'm not referring? drinking cum to I'm have lucid clam. dreams. That's my fucking <laughs> thing. Sorry. I feel like okay. So okay, okay. Another question. Um. Well, this is actually really hard for Alyssa because she can, she swings both ways. Fuck. Hmm. <laughs> but i was gonna say like it's given like a really hard challenge right like something that you are just totally against doing completely but if you do it you get full control over your dreams for the rest of your life that can also be replayed yeah i'm gonna do that what Wait, so like, what was the first part? I'm sorry, I was confused. So something that you're just totally against doing, I don't really have an example. I was gonna be like, oh, you get fucked in the ass or something, but like, yeah. <laughs> There's that. I mean, it depends on the kind of thing. Right, that's what I'm saying. So like, something that you're just completely against doing. Like, it has to be like really hard for you to do it. Very, very, very hard. Um... Shit, I don't. I feel, I was. I kind of want to use this as an example. There is a stray cat that is <gasps> like literally dying <laughs> right? on the side of the walk. On the side of this sidewalk, there's millions of photographers on the side of the <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so, yes, shut up. But there's a million photographers, it's raining, and they tell you to piss on it. What? <laughs> like, are you, are you going to do that I, for, for okay, your I really didn't think dreams? that's where you were going to go with it. Mm. Wait, wait, what? So a kitten is dying on a sidewalk, oh pouring goodness. rain, orphan kitty, and there's photographers everywhere. So not only are they getting a picture of your shrimp dick... But they're, you know, watching you piss on a cat that's dying, and it's oh. raining. Jeez. Do you God. get? Do you do? You, would you do this for full control over your dreams that you can replay at any time? No. No. That's not worth it. No. Nothing with the cat. <laughs> I'll piss on a cat. I would never. <laughs> You'd piss on a cat. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't think he, I didn't think he was gonna go that like low level severity. I thought he was gonna say like you have to step on its throat and strangle it and put it out of its misery. 
that's actually right. even Start. better. That's way no, that's way better chances. Like at least you're giving it a mercy. Like if it's dying or something like I that, guess. and like no one's taking care. But of there's it. also paparazzi or whatever the fuck you're not you piss it. Yeah, piss you just explain. You just explain it. I I feel like in my guys, it's a dying cat. Take a picture quick. <laughs> No, 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 no! Like all these people are here to see if you're gonna do it, pretty much. Like, and if you okay. do do it, do. they're flashing all they these know, pictures. They know the circumstances and the situation already, right? Okay. Well, you know, actually, no. Make it a little bit harder. So they're just there yeah, to see like... if you're gonna piss on the cat that's dying. They have no <laughs> idea if it's for your dreams or not. Just <laughs> clickbait, like fucking news panel. <laughs> Is this guy gonna piss on this cat? <laughs> Click We're now to find this. out. <laughs> you're just, you're just like unbuckling your pants. You guys like oh my creeping God. closer. You got like the microphones ready for the ASMR pissing. Jesus, I'd piss on that fucking Rothy. cat. What? What? I would, I would piss on the cat. on the cat. I'd piss on the cat, and then I would take it inside. Cause like, what if my piss yeah. helps it? You piss you know? on it, and then you give it a bath. And I mean, it's yeah. already in the pouring rain too, so like, it's dying. Yeah, yeah. You're like, adding insult to injury. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, then you just take care of it, and it hates you forever. But at least you get control over your dreams. But like, okay, let's switch this from a cat to. Your lifelong best friend, dog. That's on his last legs. Oh, dog. Uh... Charles. Please. What if it was Charles? Is Charles going to die, or can I save him after the fact? He's, he's no. He's going to die. He's, he's got three days to live. I literally can't do that. I I said that with like the chance of nursing the cat back to health. Why would you? But I can't. I can't in good conscience. Like, if the cat was gonna die, I wouldn't do it either. But, like, if you can nurse the cat, or at least try to after the fact, then that's fine. Because I didn't even know that fucking cat. But, like, still. Right. If it was like, Charles on his last legs, he's literally about to die. I'm not gonna insult my favorite dog and piss on mm-hmm. him. <laughs> yeah. So. D tier dog, but whatever. He's an S tier, actually. Um, He's a D tier. Definitely <laughs> S. You literally love him. Shut the fuck up. No, he is so fucking weird. <laughs> he was so weird. That's character. Though. <laughs> <laughs> he is the weirdest fucking dog ever. I swear. Hector <laughs> was, was over. Hector was over, and like he kept on looking at Charles, like, is he fucking dying? Like, what is wrong? He's like, he just. <laughs> He literally seemed like he would have fucking hit the he, fan in like the next twenty seconds, and I'm like, you guys might want to like call someone or something. Like, no, he's about he's... to die right here in front of your eyes. <laughs> he's a really awful. good boy. He's got some time left. He's got the energy. He just he's breathes got... heavily. He doesn't just bleed what? heavily. Oh, I thought he said bleed. I was like, fuck. What? <laughs> Probably internally. Bleeding. He's yeah, internally maybe. bleeding. Probably. Probably. Goodness. This is not seizing. He used to seize, apparently. Oh, oh that's a great sign. Yeah, that's a big well, problem. Yeah, the dogs, doctor. Right? Um, I think that's just what him. What happened to my old little dog? She had a lot of seizures. Yeah, so with his breed, apparently yeah, it's, it's purebred, thing. but it's, uh, since he's, his breed should have been dead or, like, killed off by now. But he's like an overly so purebred. In, yeah, it's, it's complete, no, it is, it's completely inbred. Um, yeah. And that's what, like, just really fucked it up in the long run, is, like, he's just a product of, like, a really long cycle of inbreeding. And so, um... When the doc, when he was seizing and stuff, like the doctor, had, or the vet, I should say, the vet just uh, told us, "Well, uh, here's a medication. Have him take these. But if he seizes, there's just literally nothing you can do. Like it's, that's just how it is. So that yeah. kind of sucks. But he hasn't seized at all since I've known him. So that's pretty great. 
Oh, awesome. That's nice. Pop off, yeah. little guy. Yeah, he's doing good. Hector's just fucking a bitch. Well, I'm uh, sure the dog is. Lissa doesn't like him either. Yeah. Who? Lissa, have you even met him? No, I've never met him. <laughs> oh, she doesn't you. like dogs I'll and just fight fuck you. No, I just you know like what? Cats. Your dogs that drooled is. all over my dick when I was over at your house. Whoa. On your dick? Yeah, dude. My fucking uh, crutch smelled like oh. shit when I got home. <laughs> I'm sure you liked it because I we all know you're in space. We all value. know. Okay, buddy. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, that little <laughs> nub was really getting my rocks off. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, Titan. I dude, if, I'm, I but I will say, if Titan going. was if Titan was given some gawk, he'd do a pretty good fucking <laughs> job. That motherfucker ate my hand. <laughs> like he didn't even. Dude, like, <laughs> that was so funny. He just randomly comes up and fucking. He, like, Trump's swallows hand. my hand. <laughs> like, he doesn't even <laughs> bite it. He just swallows it. Like, oh, God. That's, that's my so boy. <laughs> yeah, that's your fucking boy. I can tell why he's your favorite. Fucking sick. I bet the peanut butter was, fucking had a hole in it when you were He's your favorite, too. <laughs> Charles is my favorite. I like Charles. I When I was drunk, I was afraid I was going to hurt him. Oh, that's so wholesome. Oh my god. You also thought you were gonna hurt a lot of people. You thought you were a creeper for a second. Did cool. I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he put on my little uh, creeper. The, the head, Minecraft head. And he just kept on going like. Tss, tss, tss. <laughs> tss. <laughs> I was afraid I was like spitting in it, and I was like, fuck, I don't want to do that. Well, I'm not gonna wear it, so it didn't even matter. But like, Jesse was literally dying, so bruh, yeah. he was before we even got to the house. He was Gonzo. He was just done. I felt bad for both of you, just throwing up and shit. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I felt bad. It's, it's not your fault. Yeah, I didn't I just throw felt up. Like but... a burden. I was like, damn, I'm really throwing up in here. <laughs> You're fine. I'm just it really surprised awesome how day. long you were. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I was honestly surprised how long that uh, was going on for. I thought you had gotten it out of your system in like the first like four. <laughs> and the fact that it was the next day. Yeah, that was wild. I mean, I mean, I guess you did drink quite a fucking bit, though. I don't know. Yeah, I was in it to win it that night. <laughs> yeah, and you ended up losing. <laughs> no, I think he won. He definitely oh, he won. Lost, he lost something. His fucking weight. Like, dude. <laughs> motherfucker threw up like three whole Charles's. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I'd how say I won. won. I'd say I won. I made some really good experiences. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm not even. A, I'm, it was awesome. Um. Uh, okay. Well, dreams. I think dreams as a topic is. Yeah. I yeah. Think that kind of ran its course. Um. Oh, Kelly. Uh, speaking of what? throwing up and pissing on things, uh, <laughs> would you like? To, would you like to talk about what you wanted to talk about in the last episode, but literally couldn't? Yeah. So last episode we ran out of time. So I wanted to talk about certain bathroom etiquettes that you have to have while going into a public restroom um like safety. public uh yeah because you can do whatever you want in your own fucking bathroom but when you're in public like what's your like turn off when you like look in a bathroom stall or a urinal well i say bathroom stall uh toilet paper mm -hmm. on the floor even if it's just one sheet is automatically shit on the floor like, oh, yeah shit yeah. on the floor <laughs> <Well> <laughs> <laughs> shit on the walls like come on how and why how yeah, and why please? Really. so yeah, i don't really trust cool. urinals so i usually just piss in the stall right and so i was like going uh one was like yeah i don't really want to use that one the next one that i i saw shit smeared on the fucking toilet seat oh. i'm like i'm not fucking doing this oh yeah like even if you're standing up like i you don't like that you know uh, can we first can we talk about I, what do you mean by didn't you don't trust urinals? I don't I, like I don't trust my urinals. 
I would just like stand up and pee in the fucking uh, stall. Yeah, you know? me too. I do the same thing. What's wrong I'm, with urinals, though? I don't feel like because it's not one hundred percent secure for me to like without my dick right there to <laughs> pee. It like is yeah. though. No, I know it's okay. In a like, lot of situations, it's not. Like if you're at like a fucking stadium, they literally like it's just a trough of piss. Okay, like, well that's no, different. Like, but say yeah. standard, like the usual place, it's just a urinal. There's dividers between each of them. What's... Yeah, but like you're all tall enough to just take a peek on over. Like it's, I don't know, it's just a comfort thing. Like it's like your spidey yeah. senses are like, this guy's definitely looking I at my guess. cock right now. <laughs> I don't think I'd be all that upset if someone was looking at my cock. I mean, you're also a little bit curious, sir. So you're like, <laughs> shit. I'm being curious. It's not like I'm trying to look at their cock. I guess it's well, sometimes I'll try so that I can see whether or not they can see mine. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's, it's like, like they have the authority not to or not. No, I'm like, is this divider a little too low? Let me check and see if I can see this guy's dick. <laughs> and then I can't, but I know that I'm safe. You're like leaning back and he's just like, he's like, uh. <laughs> mm. No, like, sometimes you know, I would see people's dicks. Like in high school, there were no fucking dividers. In elementary yeah. school, they were pulling their fucking pants down all the way when they were pissing. And I was like, dude, seriously. Yeah. Some grown ass men still do that. I see grown ass men doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tucking their shirts in their chin and just like pissing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and then, like, like, if you're four, I get it, but grow up. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I just like the privacy of a stall. Like, it's just so I don't know. Like I don't. Okay, another thing too about bathrooms. I don't like tiny stalls for toilets. Like if it's, I like the obviously everyone likes you the like handicap the handicap. One. Everyone likes a handicap, but like I feel like even the smaller ones just have to be a little bit bigger for comfort. Like they're pretty fucking small. Well, they don't want to make it too comfortable for where people just like sit in there forever. It's meant for you just to take a shit and go. Um, why they make so that's why they cap one a fucking living room then, <laughs> so people can like do wheelies in there if they wanted to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but some they leave like little tiny slits inside the doors, so it's not one hundred percent like like secure. You know, it just kind of puts you on edge for you just to shit and go. It's not there for like. That's you know. another thing I don't fucking understand. There are some places that got this down to a science and put a legitimate wall or like a, a like at least like a half door, not a half door, but like you know the ones that you're used to with the stalls, and then like a, a full ass wall. Why the fuck are there slits in that shit? Why can we see your fucking feet? Yeah, that's the reason why they don't want to keep it one hundred percent secure. But, why? but then there's other places that make it like an actual, like closed room, like a sealed room. Yeah. Well, for somewhere Those like really nice. like a retail store, it's like people probably go in there and fuck. They don't want yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. True. I guess if you, you know were why. Like, uh... So, when you're trying to take a shit, right? You don't want anyone to fucking hear your shit and farts, right? Yep. Boost a fucking stereo or a song inside the bathrooms so no one has to hear you shit or fart. Because we're playing like peekaboo with our shits and farts when there's other people inside the thing. So you're just waiting for them to fucking leave. I hate yeah, that. Yeah, I was just Bro. talking about that the other day to Alan. I was like, I don't use the um, air uh, to dry my hands off because it makes a lot of noise. And I'm sure people really enjoy that. And no one uses it when I'm taking a shit <laughs> in public restrooms. Uh, so fuck them. I'm not going to yeah. do it for them. Daddy. <laughs> I am. I, you know, I am literally... I like, huh? I used to be like that, but now I just don't give a shit. Like, if I have to shit and I go to a public restroom, I'm just going to let it all... <laughs> like I, I, I feel like I grew up in that sense. I feel like it really depends on the bathroom. Like if it's a nice one, I feel so comfortable to take the fattest shit. But I'm also very yeah. polite about it. Like I make sure like I ain't leaving no evidence behind. I'm like, I'm clean. Yeah, you up. keep it clean. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't want it to like just go downhill immediately. Cause ugh, what the fuck? There is so yard house. Yard house has a fucking awesome bathroom. The the place I took you guys for Jesse's birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have an awesome fucking bathroom. I could take the fattest shit. I could have diarrhea and not give a shit. I, I'd be like, all right, all good to go. Cause that shit is sealed yeah. off. Yeah. You know, um, you know the bathrooms at the outlets in San Clemente? Yeah, those things were fucking awesome. They had their own like, oh my God. like <laughs> best Western room. It was crazy. Seriously. It's like you go in, there's like what a 15 foot, 20 foot long, like f- almost full wall mirror with the sinks. And yep. then there's like 15 urinals. There's at least 10 sealed, like what floor to ceiling doors for the stalls yeah like brick fucking dividers between each and then like the the doors for the stalls are like solid wood i think and they were out there playing so such such luxury (laughs) and they were out there playing at the time i think the last time i was there playing mariah carey i was like i can shit in pure bliss right now oh hell yeah (laughs) (laughs) like that's comfortable that's so good yeah, like, luxury places can get away with it, but if you like a rest stop, they have to keep it like a bit uncomfy, just so you don't like fucking want bathroom. To film yourself jerk off in there. True. <laughs> but then there's also like I've the never really had that stalls. urge. <laughs> Kelly? Oh, not <laughs> me. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> it was, it was, it was an example. Yeah. Now yeah. your fetish. Oh no! Fuck no! Okay. Like where are you? Uh, gee, well, I've done public it? once. It's Jared. Wait. No, let's not. No, well, you've jerked right. off in public. What kind of public? So, <laughs> so I was in high school, right? And I was like, <gasps> I need to do it somewhere. I want to do Wait, it. Wait, in high school with me or high school after me? High school, like junior or senior year. Okay, so you're uh, talking about like, jerking off, not actual and like sex or anything. Oh no. Um. Okay. So there's these drainage tunnels, and I was like, "This is the perfect place to fucking get ass naked and just jerk off." So I did it. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, this is the perfect place to get ass naked. God, I went down. To, get, to pull your pants I took all up, the way I down even took up. You what? sound like kind of guy. Oh, that type of guy? Yeah. Too? No, I hope not, but... Um, Shipped all the way down. Even my socks. I took off my socks. I was... In a train, it's the fucking socks. Yeah, I was freeballing it. It was... There used to oh, be... And then you just nut okay. on the floor? <laughs> yeah, I did it in the, the tunnel. <laughs> and there was... was your anxiety through the roof, or what? Oh my god, well, did I make it faster? I think that's part, or... of, the, think that's part of the fun. <laughs> no, I was, I was just trying it out. I was like feeling it, you know? I was like, oh, I'm out in public. This is so weird. And I was like, oh I need to get god. hard first. So I looked at a video and I was like, this is it. All right. This is it. So I just, <laughs> yeah. Were you watching? What what kind of videos were were you watching back then? Why do you want to know in depth? Like, <laughs> no, I'm like, well, you're like, kind of sounding like the weird one now. At this no, I'm point. just saying, like, like, were you out yet back then, or what? Yeah, yeah, I was just watching great gay porn. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. Damn. It was Jesse James, if you're real. It, Jesse, is it Jesse? You James? remember? Yeah, he's he's like my go-to sometimes. There was, I don't know if Kelly remembers this or if he even like knew about it. Uh, there was a storm drain that went from just outside our school to like, uh, Narnia just past. Was that, it was called Narnia. Huh? It was called Narnia. I've been yeah. there. I've heard, uh, a, one of my old, the, I don't want to say her name, but, uh, let's call her. What's a good. Good name. Um, Jessica, I heard Jessica slopping dick with another guy, not too far, with a uh, with another guy there, and we're just like waiting to, from the stop so we can fucking leave. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, was that yeah. who I'm thinking it was, or no? Starts with a J. I think you know. I've told it before. 
Oh shit, that's right. I totally forgot about her. Holy shit. Yeah. Do you know who Dixie was sucking? I think it's public enemy number one, right? Was it Starts with an I don't think it was him. Oh, it, oh my god. It was our fucking boy. It was our fucking friend. I just remembered. Oh my god. <laughs> I just remembered the whole situation. Both of you are scratching your heads right now, huh? Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> had to be there. Holy shit. All right. Well, I don't think he wanted to be there, but. No, yeah. I'm sure I no. did. The reason, the reason I was like thinking like Kelly did it whilst he was at school with me is because of that fucking storm drain. I thought he just walked over and got Hot-ass naked start no. choking it and already. <laughs> Mm-mm. Oh, uh, shit. Can we talk about uh, graffiti in bathrooms? Like, why? What are you asserting? Yeah, like, actually, some people take so much wow, time out of their day to just graffiti. scratch the most random, stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, they scrape the fucking plastic to death with their stupid little logo. I'm like, no one cares. I'm gonna get, like, big how do you get, it's not even person. legible. Like, how the fuck are we supposed to find you? I don't get it. Seriously. Well, Stupid. I think the point is so that you don't find them, so that they can get away with it. Like, are they just, like, just put their name? Is that they they not afford, like, bro? I've gone in public with Alan, like we when we went to Utah, and him and his best friend are into doing your 3D. So, sorry, Alan, but he doesn't listen to this, so I don't care. Anyways, um, <laughs> he, they, like, literally look for where the cameras are and aren't so they could fucking do graffiti. And they're like, yeah, well, don't make a, it obvious. <laughs> like, actual, I respect, like, tagging? Like, actually tagging. Yeah. See, I respect kind of like cool. the spray painting graffiti. I think that stuff yeah. is pretty cool to an extent. Like depending on where it is. But bathroom graffiti but is just bathroom stupid. graffiti is so fucking dumb to me. True. Like yeah. you have to be a fat, not a fat, but like just a big fucking loser. Honestly, I don't know. Mm-hmm. That always bothered me. I'm always like, why tag like here? Like, is it I even tagging? Here. It's not even like. Like, it's not even, like, it's always, like, the big, like, puffy letters, like, regular tagging is. It's yeah. just, like, random gibberish and shit. You know what does take fucking skill, though? I have no idea how they do it to the mirror. Like, how do they not yeah. work the mirror? You just got a sharp-ass pocket knife, I guess? But yeah, they just use, like, an exacto knife or something. They they come strapped to Hobby, not Hobby yeah. Lobby. <laughs> hobby Lobby? Carl, probably Hobby Lobby. Stra- yeah, I was say, that's probably the only place they would come strapped. It proves how dumb they fucking are. They're going to Hobby Lobby to graffiti shit. It's so dumb. It's like, bro, uh, Carl Jr. is the fucking spot. Let's get it. Dude, seriously. Your, don't forget your exacto knife. Wait, what the fuck? Well, okay, people also don't go to a place with the intention of to graffiti there. It's like they they graffiti there if they had something memorable there. <laughs> but that's know? even no. weirder. Like, it's like, like skulls damn. with a Z. Like, what's the point of this? Also, <laughs> also that S, that S that everyone learned how to do in middle school. I yeah. learned it in high school. I was late. <laughs> I did it in elementary. <laughs> <laughs> gang gang <laughs> Fucking, um, but yeah no like go. you're telling me like these people with no intentions they just like make memories like you know what I want to put my my sign here so I'll never forget this what kind of a fucking experience could you have had at Carl's Jr. that made you do that maybe with their friends Man. that hot honey waffle chicken sandwich was busting <laughs> I gotta go tag this bathroom right now <laughs> Bro, you guys, you guys, you guys earned this. Like, and then, and then on top of that, he's literally just strapped with an exacto knife. Like, what the fuck? I mean, it could just be a pocket knife, but still. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how that shit works because I'm not a fucking loser. I just, I, I don't get it. It made, it never made any sense to me. Graffiti's cool itself, but yeah. They're just imitating. They're some shadies. 
<laughs> they're like, they're, I can't go big yet. Those are the people who mm-hmm. like got a knife for like Christmas and like just can't afford spray paint. Maybe that's what it is. Or um, or are too young, because you have to be eighteen in some places to buy spray paint. Or in all yeah. places. Yeah, maybe. You might have to be eighteen. Yeah, I, I forgot. I forgot if they even. I don't even know if they carded us at uh, Michael or Michelle's. I forgot. I don't remember the name of the Michael's. Store. Michael's. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember if they carded us when we got it for uh, hydro dipping. I don't know. I just know some places like lock it up, or they'll card you. One or the right. other. Yeah. But yeah, that that explains it though. The people that tag bathrooms with knives and such are fucking children. True. Because they're not old enough to buy spray paint. The kids. <laughs> How do we feel? Uh, I kind of want to keep up the. I'll just say delinquent shit. How do we feel about sagging? Fuck sagging. Uh, Lame. Sagging is also yeah, super dumb was... to me. I yeah, hate that I, I used to be into it. Yeah, I hate that I used to find it attractive, but that was in, like, fucking middle school, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what it all is... I just Like, fashion was different then, so it's it's it not just, that weird. I was into but it. sagging? Like, what's so hot about sagging? You can see their underwear? Yeah, if you can't like, afford a belt? Or their ass. You know? Their Girls are into guys' ass, you know? Well, yeah, yeah, but, like, like yeah. that's just... Oh jeez, that sounded like a yeah to me. Like he, he just he just experienced. He's been pegged. <laughs> jeez. Great. So yes, yeah, hanging. I don't know. When I worked at Target, um, Brendan, do you remember Vaughn? Dude, that motherfucker, I don't even know if he was trying, but he was I don't, I don't always know. sagging. He had to be trying, or he was trying his to ass not crack try. His crack was out all day, yeah. I swear to God. Either him. his plaid fucking loose-ass boxers or his actual ass crack was out. Yep. And it didn't make sense to me, because he was like a cool guy. He was He was really skinny. He could definitely keep his pants up if he fucking tried. Right. <laughs> But I guess I, he just had to keep the the look in style or attempt you know what? to. You know what? This actually completely reminded me. I thought of this topic last night was with the uh, sagging. I think they need to invent clothes for people without asses. They're I, called leggings. For people like you. No, 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 no. Leggings are still not it, all right? I have no ass. I do not try to sag. My, I, my ass uh, crack is They're called always overalls. Hey, come closer. Overalls are the, overalls are the only fucking thing. Or the only thing. For no thing. ass? For, like, onesies and overalls. Like, you have to cover your entire body if you, if you want your uh, ass crack to not be showing. Cause like my pants, like they just they they the can literally. Stuff. That's usually for girls, stuff though. is like yeah they usually put it like you over know, their stomach or something. He has suspenders. Oh, I'm so like, like it's Carl not over What the fuck? No, you just do it <laughs> under your shirt. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like that's still not the solution. Like my, is, I feel like my that's ass literally what they were made for. <laughs> I feel like my ass He's like, no, give me a oh, whole brand in... new pair of pants. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, why do they switched. not design pants mm-hmm. that, like... Okay, say you go into JCPenney, go to the jeans section, what would they market it as? Assless. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the opposite of what you want there. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I guess you can't really say oh, there's, assless. There's skinnies, that's... there's slim straights, there's boot cut. What would you market the jeans you're talking about as? They could probably Le- just um, do it only. like what Dickies does and how they're just numbers. You know? True. But just put legs. I'd only put legs. <laughs> legs. legs. No ass. So that way no like, it ass. just implies that you have no like, ass. You just put oh my legs. <laughs> It's like that TikTok audio where it'll, um, look at my eyes. No boobs. <laughs> <In the> eyes. <laughs> Only eyes. Only eyes. <laughs> no boobs. 
Yeah. See, I... No, but I think suspenders no. are the answer you're looking for. Because in the back, they're literally, like, supposed to be dead center. So it'll pull your pants up exactly where your crack is. Uh, I feel like they just need to design a one piece of clothing that accommodates it. No, with suspenders, you just get, like, one or two pairs, and you can keep all your pants up, regardless of their cut or whatever. I have to hold up, have to hold up my fucking pants twice over. That's the thing, too. Like, belts don't fucking help. Like, they help, like, keep the pants on you, but, like, you try to pull them up past your crack, it's not helping nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, say you were to... Squats. Get some, get some booty in it. I know? really want to get an ass. I would literally, I might actually pay for an ass if given the opportunity. I don't know how much I would go for that, but yeah. Like a butt lift. A butt lift. <laughs> <laughs> don't you have to have a butt to have a butt lift? I mean, a BBL. No, that just takes the fat from like your midsection and they put it in your ass. You can get a BBL. Yeah, I've literally thought about that. Because, like, one, you're taking it out of that. <laughs> and two, I get an ass. He's like... skinny legend and double legend. <laughs> Signing <laughs> off of... I've literally, I've literally, like, almost looked into it. I'm like, that sounds like just a win-win. Skinny like... with an ass? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Lols, you should get a BBL. A BBL. How, mu- how much? How expensive are those? I'm gonna look it up right now. They're like pretty expensive. That's how people thousand. go to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> get a Mexican butt lift. Yeah. Mexican butt lift. <laughs> do it. Do it. Hey, I'm, what I'm is down a to lift? To how, how long does it last? Does it like? I mean, it probably well, sags. It's it's away. Why would it? Why would it go away? I think it just states. It like might sag. Dog. Well, it might sag. Well, yeah, when you also get older, like it's a bit more natural because it's fat instead of, like, an implant. The fat they take out and put in your butt just starts to decay like a dead oh, body. Gosh. It starts rotting inside you. Well, why didn't it do that before? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I was talking about like weightlifting, like like that get some is not, squats. Oh my fucking god, that's not even bad. On what average, four thousand at least dollars. That's actually not as bad as that's I thought. That's not nearly as bad as I thought. Yeah, but is that with or without insurance? Would your, your insurance? I don't think your insurance would even cover it because it's guys, guys. Like I'm necessary... about to have. I'm about to get circumcised and a Brazilian butt. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! It's a Jesus good day to be is. Miles. Are they gonna put your dick cheese in your butt too? <laughs> <laughs> That's I gonna grab you. the first. <laughs> Jeremy's giving me the dirty look right now. Can I talk about foreskin? Moses <laughs> <laughs> uh, is just silent now. <laughs> hey, you pissed on your girlfriend. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh my oh god. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Moving up, moving on. Um, <laughs> moving up. <laughs> you know who really gets my Brazilian butt up? <laughs> Spider Man. Good, good. He's got a good there. butt. Spider Man got a good butt. Dude, Spider Man has some cheeks. Tom Holland, yeah, Tom Holland especially. Tom Holland. He's got bigger cheeks than Brie Larson. You can tell he <laughs> fucking works for it. Oh god, yeah. Well, he is an athlete. He's an athlete. Yeah, like he does a lot of his stunts. Yeah, but he he does on oh, yeah. He and he's, he was he was in like gymnastics and shit. True. Working up for the role, he was meant to be Spider Man. I think he seriously Sp- I was. Think, I think Stan Lee even said that. Yeah, he did. Was he? Yeah, you don't think he was? Well, I know he said that for uh, Tony Stark. Uh, what you call it? You said it for what's his name? Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Right. 
Yeah. I think the entire Marvel cast was just born to play those roles, honestly. Yeah, except for Brie Larson. Yeah. Yeah, Brie uh, Larson fucking sucks. But, yeah. Ooh. I don't know any other blonde chick that also could have done it. Charlize could... Theron. Mm-hmm. Theron. Theron. I have... How the fuck do you... Love spell that? She's a Furiosa from Mad Max. I... Oh, that girl. The bald girl, right? Yeah. Charlize Furiosa? <laughs> or some killer <laughs> eyes. Charlize Theron. Or Thoreau. Thoreau? Mm-hmm. I think it's Theron. Oh. But I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, sure. she, how fucking old she's, is this chick? She's a bit she's old. She's 46. Yeah. But, I mean, that kind of would have made sense for Endgame. But I can definitely see her being, uh, being uh, Captain Marvel. Wait, no, but isn't she also in Jessica Jones? I think she already was in... No, Marvel's. that's... That's uh, short hair here, Moss, she looks Catherine like Moss, I think. Let me see. Right. She's from The Matrix. It. She was in that trailer that I showed you guys. Oh. Mm. Uh, Carrie Ann Moss. Yeah. She played the lesbian in uh, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is also super good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see uh, it Spider-Man on topic. Spider-Man. Spider-Man! Yeah. He's in Fortnite! <laughs> and it's and his web slinging is a lot better than the Avengers game. Me and Kelly just determined that. <laughs> Think oh, so? yeah. Yeah, it's Jeez. so much better. The animations so, in the Avengers game are trash. And we're talking about the Avengers game. Uh, oh, I thought they you were talking about added... the Avengers event in Fortnite. No, no, no. So in um, in the Avengers game, they added Spider-Man to it, which to me makes no sense because they're, they're literally coming out with another Spider-Man video game already. Um, really? Yeah, so Spider-Man... So the original Spider-Man 2018 video game has way better web swinging in all in animations than the Avengers Spider-Man uh, uh, exclusive to PS4 DLC or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And Fortnite also Spider-Man that came out with the PS5. Uh, he was a PlayStation I'd... exclusive to the Avengers game. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Least people so get they, to, um, the least amount of people get to experience it. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, it's just it was bad. We watched a side by side comparison. It was it was like Fortnite and the actual Spider Man game knocked it out of the park. Avengers like was so fucking lazy with it. It was crazy. Hmm. It's yep. there's probably limitations to the uh, the engine. I'd bet because Fortnite has like a more fluid engine because they have like the suction cup ball thing and already grappling hooks so right. yeah. it wouldn't be too out of left field to add a Spider-Man thing to it but I think the, the web slinging in Fortnite is a little better than the grapple gun though oh for sure oh yeah yeah um oh but what I wanted to say about Spider-Man in general uh Kelly said that he saw like two uh spoiler picks that like confirm Uh-oh. something but doesn't like actually spoil like the plot oh it was a while ago it was right last or maybe october they show uh there was two leaked images uh one was confirming i guess they're both confirming characters in the movie right which mm-hmm. is uh he said uh you said toby right not andrew both Okay. Yeah, well, I know, there ball. was like forever ago, there was like an image leaked of Andrew like on some scaffolding, and then a big part of the trailer is Tom Holland on fighting on the scaffolding, right. and then the lizard gets fucking hit and like it's invisible or some shit. Like it's the invisible woman. That's the one I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then there's uh one that's going to be probably my favorite part of the movie is that Daredevil yeah. is going to be in it. Right. They they've like really shown nothing of him in the trailers though. Yeah, there it's like no one little, gives yeah, a shit. Purpose. Like they give a shit. They just don't want to say that he's in the MCU now. 
They just want to wait till people get in the theater. Well, they did like in the first trailer they released, he was in it. It in was like just a like teaser, a super quick screen grab. Oh, in a screen grab, I think. I think it was a leaked though, wasn't it? No, like I saw it in the actual official trailer. It was like really he, brief, but he you said I knew that it was lawyers. Matt Murdock. Yeah, he yeah, said, like, yeah, I that dude lawyer or something. And like, I honestly thought that it was like some kind of fucking prank or some shit. Like, so it was just splicing scenes or some shit. But, yeah. dude, Daredevil was literally my favorite TV show of all fucking time. It was. So I kind of want to watch the movie again. With you, dude, God, not watch get that. the fuck out! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't. I hardly remember it, so I kind of just want to see it again. <laughs> Watch the series. You'll have a way better fucking... Jennifer Gardner as Alexa sucked ass. Bullseye was the coolest guy in the movie. But right. I I think um Elec- oh, dude, Electra in the series I think was really fucking cool, wasn't she? I thought she was boring, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I, I, was, like, was... <laughs> I actually liked Karen more than Electra. That's what you were telling me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was her backstory was fucked. Karen's backstory was fucked. Yeah. Like it was really bad. I think like the literal first scene you see of her backstory is her fucking a druggie in a truck. She's was, wild though. Yeah. You wild him. <laughs> uh, what was his name? Was it Foggy? Froggy? Froggy. Hey. Oh, Foggy. Foggy. Yeah, I teased funny. Jeremy. I was like, "Did they call him Foggy because he's not easy to look at?" <laughs> yeah, what a he good has a butter face. Friend. Yeah, he he's, he's got face. a weird one, but I get, like, I don't know, guy in the chair. His actor is bad. <laughs> I don't like his actor. Really, I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think he should have had any kind of romantic thing going on, but I think at some point in the series he did. I think I the. I forgot who it was. I think it was like just like randomly on a date at some point, or someone found him like attractive, and I was like, I don't think that should have been a flop. <laughs> I feel like he added that himself. <laughs> Guys, so. I need a lover. They don't think I'm gay or something. That's probably the reason why they don't want to think he's gay. Well, we didn't want to hand you off to CW, Foggy, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it, he he wasn't the best to look at, but I don't think he was like bad as like a friend or anything like that. Otherwise, um, I think fucking Karen was dumb as shit. Sometimes she was reckless. She was, she was reckless dumb show. as shit. So like the whole Punisher thing, like I can't remember if like what she did, like uh indirectly like helped uh matthew murdoch at all with the punisher or if it just really fucked shit up and then like she was at a crossroads like well i really like i think i'm gonna fuck the punisher and then i'll just get back to you really quick like i swear <laughs> she fucked up? the punisher i'm f- pretty sure they fucked no they did i can't not believe you fuck. never watched that show kelly have you He's seen cool. the punisher i have not watched the punisher no what I just decided not to. Like, I knew it was going to be good. I just decided not to. It's a great show. It really I already, I already watched two pretty gruesome fucking Marvel shows. Jessica Jones was especially gruesome. You just really can't handle gore, can you? No, I really can't. I just, oh, it's hard for pussy. me to stomach. Pussy. Or pussy. I'm not pussy. Jeremy's I like the, the gore. Player. Yeah, he doesn't really like, like too much gore. Yeah. See? Diversify your palette. <laughs> My palette is exquisite. It's the fucking kid cuisine. It's bear. <laughs> I got the fucking it's penguin bear. macaroni it's... in this bitch. Are you trying to like upsell or downsell yourself? Kid cuisine is shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the brownie was fire. No, it's no, it not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing you about kid cuisine is good. You didn't like the little brownies yeah, that no, came with? It all tasted like bland mush. All the same bland texture. Mush. Yeah. Like, why was the meat the same texture as 
the mashed potatoes. Okay. Seriously, kid cuisine was ass. Yeah. And I think that about sums sums up your palate. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Thank you. Oh, I do know what I know. I, I like kid I cuisine. T- my palate is a tombstone pizza. How about that? And we want to call <laughs> just total not, silence. I, awesome. I have never had one before. I can't even say. <laughs> Me neither. It was like total silence for a second there. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Red fuck Baron. me, I guess. Red yeah, Baron. Your, your taste is shit. Red Baron's <laughs> all right. I don't know. It's Can we stop talking nothing? about my palate and just like talk about <laughs> how like Daredevil's literally in fucking Spider Man? Like that's crazy. Yeah. He's um. You, I, I think they only showed like Matt Murdock in the trailers, but not Daredevil. Like they haven't shown right. him in his suit. I yeah, think. no, only Matt Murdock. Where they teased him in his suit, which also doesn't in make Spider-Man? a whole lot of sense. That would make I think zero they sense. Him in... Why? For a Spider-Man movie to already have Doctor Strange, three other Spider-Man, and then six other villains from those movies, it's you it has seriously to be. think that Matt, that fucking Daredevil's just gonna sit it out if he's in the movie? He's gonna be like, ah, he's just, nah, they got it, they got it, yeah, they yeah. got it. It's only yeah. multiple universes collapsing together. Yeah, they no, got they it. don't need they don't need help from a blind fuck. No, I mean honestly, it's probably out of his league. What? I mean, it kind of is out of his league. No, 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 no. Did you watch Defenders? Did you watch Defenders? Yeah, and he died at the end of it. (laughs) Oh, they thought, no, they thought he did. He did not. Well, obviously, he must have come close then. Well, he came close to dying, yes. They just, they thought he died because, like, a building collapsed, but they didn't see him after that. But then Daredevil Season 3 came out, so... Which picked up right after that, so. I mean, yeah. he's he's on Spy. Well, Dude. I can't even say Spider Man because he's on this level of multiverses now. But he's not that big. I mean, he's usually doing his I own thing. I would love for him to be huge, dude. Daredevil as a show really made me fall in love with the hero himself. So mm-hmm. it, it was just it was just, so fucking good. <sighs> I'm just and not as, really because like all these characters are made to be on Netflix. They are made to be explored into a dark way. Like MCU is not going to do any of that. They're just going to be like joking around the entire damn time. It's like, oh, you're blind. Ha, that's funny. Uh, ha, 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 ha. It's dumb. I mean, it's okay, that's anything. that is a little bit fair. They're going to take a lot of what uh, he had already built up, and it's just going to be comedic. Which, I mean, they did that in Defenders, though. When they brought the Defenders together, it was the same shit. Like, the same people who were making each individual show. But there was a lot more comedy involved in this one. And, I mean, Jessica Jones was fucking completely changed in Defenders. She was she she actually had a sense of humor. Like, that bitch just... All she knows is get drunk and be depressed. That chick was <laughs> laughing... She was laughing with like, oh wait, no, Jessica Jones fucked Luke Cage. That's who I think. They're married in the comics. They have a kid. True, yeah, but she literally fucked the shit out of Luke Cage. Oh my god, that was an awesome scene. He said, "Merry Christmas." Oh yeah, they broke the they broke a bed, and then they just kept going. That was awesome. (laughs) This is Richard you broke my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's why I, I'm not I, really excited for Kingpin to be in the MCU. He's not going to be explored as deeply as they was in the uh, Netflix show. I think they explore. Like I said, I feel like Kingpin doesn't necessarily need to be flushed out any more than he was. It might not be as brutal. But it's going to hit hard, I think. I think Spider-Man's just, like, way too optimistic to, like, take Kingpin as deadly as he is. You know what I mean? That's why I think this movie, he needs to sacrifice something. He needs to kind of learn from the mistakes and kind of buck up. 
because in the comics he had a shit life and he had to juggle that with being spider-man saving people and being peter parker and you know his other life is that well so in this one he has like those two lives like splurged together and so i feel like ned has to die in this one in order to really create his character oh yeah i can't kill mj i don't know if it's a spoiler but a theory maybe aunt may no. They can't kill Aunt May. She's really popular. Way too, way too many yeah. Sims. Yeah, she's definitely got plot armor. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, and Zendaya, too. You can't kill Zendaya. Yeah. No way. She'll what come about... close, maybe. What the fuck? Probably kill off Happy. No way. Oh, no. He might have run his course, honestly. Yeah, but then it's just going to be Tony's... It's just going to be Pepper and their daughter. What's Happy doing? Happy's taking, helping He's taking care of Spider-Man's uh, butler uh, right now. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was for Tony. He's yeah, not really like, his butler. He's kind of died. just there to help out. But Happy's got to be there to like mentor him. I got the tunes. <laughs> Don't worry. Like That's lame. I personally think that's lame. I think Spider-Man should be by himself and kind of, I don't know, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man instead of like. I, I think got he four needs Happy to like show him the path to being the number one hero. The number one hero, the young one Ma- hero. young Midoriya. <laughs> yes, he's the young Midoriya to All Might. <laughs> but he kind of learned by himself in the comics how to be a better person. He learned that from his uncle Ben, how to be a nice. A guy, we don't even you know. have an Uncle I, Ben in this. One. I don't get why they oh, haven't yeah. brought up Uncle Ben and Tom. Wait, it's been no, done but Happy was fucking Aunt May, wasn't he? Yeah, no, she was leading him on. Going on a date, weren't they, or something? They were dating. Yeah. Oh yeah, they uh, said they were a, fl- a summer fling. Yeah. Wow. Um, Damn. Go Happy. Go Happy. He secured the bag. <laughs> he got it. the fucking <laughs> he fucked it. Hell yeah. Dude, I don't know. I, I feel like um he I feel like Spider-Man in particular has already lost a lot though. Like, like in like in the first initial Spider-Man, he learned his lesson because that just because you're a superhero doesn't mean you have to be like Avengers level, you know, you just help out the little guys, right? And yeah. he learned that lesson because he had everything taken away from him once he got big, and then he, from the ground up, showed that he showed and proved to himself that it doesn't always have to be like that, right? So, um, if can I, Spider, what's up? Sorry, are, are you done talking? Or I, you can keep talking if you want. I was gonna go into Spider Man Two. I think the, honestly, I think the. Uh, lesson was just not to pass on responsibilities or some shit like that but i I mean it i could also make a thing and just be like don't trust strangers i guess i don't know right i feel like that one's obvious yeah (laughs) um in the well i'm talking about in the comics uh okay but obviously yeah spider-man 2 uh i think it's the best spider-man movie so far oh super fucking good He's like constantly juggling, juggle, bleh, juggling with his like wanting to be like a teacher or something like that, or not a teacher, but going to school and being Spider Man, the responsibilities with that. But he kind of had to like stop being Spider Man for a sec to like realize what he wanted in life, and he went with Spider Man. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I feel like they're doing a good job with his progression, but at the same time, there is something in the third movie that in the third trailer already that I've seen that's gonna bug me, and it's like ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where things have felt normal, right? Mm-hmm. And that's and it's like bull fucking shit. You went the entire time after Civil War being normal. Like, you were just yeah. in high school. He had his thumb up his ass. He was waiting for someone to call him. Yeah, he wasn't doing anything, like, crazy crazy. But he like, was still a Spider-Man. 
Yeah, I guess he was being Spider-Man, but he was also still being Spider-Man with MJ. It's not like he just gave up for a week. I think Tom Holland has never sacrificed anything. Him being Spider-Man. Like, I don't think yeah. that Spider-Man has sacrificed nothing. Comics, mm. he lost Gwen Stacy. He, kept, he does the same thing he does in the Spider-Man 2. He's juggling his life. Make sure MJ's well, happy, you know. He lost Iron Man. <laughs> did lose he did Iron lose Man. Iron Man. Yeah, he did lose Iron Man. He did not lose Iron Man. Iron Man what? sacrificed. Oh, I mean... Well, I mean, he still lost Yeah. Him. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he did lose Iron Man. That was a big hit to the gut. <laughs> but, like, um, in the comics, like, does the legitimate Spider-Man have both Gwen and MJ? Or are those two different universe e- parallels? So I think they exist. I think they exist in the same universe, depending on. It's just like guess, MJ like is Grant. high school sweetheart, and M and a uh, and Gwen, Gwen Stacy is, uh, is just a good friend. I think. I think Gwen Stacy is the Ned. Do you guys know what happened to Gwen Stacy? In in uh, uh, in the, in in the, the second comics. one for Andrew Garfield. In the comics, I have no. Oh, idea. I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys were talking about the movies or the comics, but. Well, and I was uh, talking about the comics because he was just asking uh, if MJ and Gwen Stacy like coexist or if they're like yeah. Because in Tobey Maguire's movies, they both are in it. In Spider Man Three, Gwen Stacy's introduced. But and in Andrew there, Garfield's, there's it's no only Gwen MJ Stacy. in Andrew Garfield's. Yeah, and there's no Gwen Stacy in Tom Holland's. In Tom Holland's, yeah, yeah. So, um, in the comics. Green Goblin threw Gwen Stacy off of a bridge, and then Spider Man tried to save her, but he his web attached to something to where it's not really like clear, but she snapped her neck when he tried to bring her up, and she died that way. Oh, so, so it's exactly like the Andrew Garfield. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But that kind of yeah. neat, that like sacrifice is needed for like Spider Man to kind of grow from. You know, he's yeah. kind of like the underdog that gets shit on, but we we root for him, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like in the first Spider-Man, especially no, in both of them so far with Tom Holland, they've done a really good point of like bringing him down to his knees for the movie, and then having him rise above that. Like with the whole Vulture thing, like he threw away, you know, his moral shit. He wanted to dance with a girl. He wanted to have a normal high school after all that just because he can come to terms with it and then all of a sudden he finds out who vulture is vulture literally caves him (laughs) over a building and he's asking for help and he rises above and i feel like that's just i don't know i feel like i feel like Hmm. i'm sorry i keep interrupting you no you're fine go ahead yeah so i I feel as though like Spider-Man villains are very vindictive compared to everybody else. I don't know if it's because they're like, fuck this kid in particular. I'm going to make sure to like <laughs> mentally fuck him up. It's like a little kid ruining their day instead of a full grown adult. It's an ego thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah I'm pretty sure it's an ego thing. Do you think Dr. Ock like feels good getting beat up by a kid? Right. right. Well, he wasn't a kid in Tobey Maguire's movies, right? He was like... He's a college student. He was college, yeah. Which I guess could be considered a kid if he's a fucking old-ass boomer, but... <laughs> I mean, I, it's kind of like... I don't know if you guys... Sorry, I was like kind of zoned out for a second there, but I understand, but I kind of loosely get it. Uh, it's kind of like the Batman thing, though. Like, It's not like villain... It's not like the Joker's aiming for anyone else in like the Justice League or anything. It's like pretty much solely batman mm-hmm. like right. I, and I feel like that's is the joker the, not like pre timeline justice league what do you mean isn't the joker like a villain before the justice league becomes a thing i think so uh yes i think i think i think he is I don't remember what the first Batman villain was. I think it might have been Two Face. No, I think it might have been Two Face. Let me see. First. No. Bat. No, because. No way. 
Because it was, it was uh, it something Harvey. Dr. Death is the first Dr. criminal. Death. Fuck yeah. Batman Who the villain fuck villain is Dr. Death? <laughs> I've never heard of that in my life. Um, But yeah, no, like, fucking the Joker is always after... Like, any Batman villain solely targets Batman if they're targeting anyone at all. Like, there's some that are, like, passive, which is, like, what the what uh, Vulture is, I'd say. I don't, I don't I think... I think Mysterio, like, kind of went above and beyond and fucking him up. Oh, yeah, fuck, sure. yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Mysterio was an awesome fucking villain. But I think he was way more targeted towards uh, Spider-Man than uh, Vulture was, for sure. Like, Vulture was like, yeah, this is just one of the Avengers, like... I didn't he was really, trying to get paid. Yeah, he didn't really mm-hmm. care like which Avenger it was. He was just trying to do his job. So I don't know. I I think it's interesting though. I mean, I think they literally make that point in the fucking third movie. Like it's like, oh, all these people are supposed to die fighting Spider-Man. Like, well, that fucking sucks to be your destiny. Holy shit. <laughs> like Oh my god. Quit fighting Spider Man. It's fucking simple. <laughs> yeah, maybe you just hang you it up. For like a bit. No other lives. Like, why wouldn't you just explain that to them? Like, guys, look, I I don't want to kill you, but like imagine this freak accident where you somehow die fighting me. Like, maybe we just hang it up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna learn their lesson. Yeah. All of them are gonna Except fucking get crushed. Am I the only one who thought Benedict Cumberbatch was not in this movie because he looked a little bit chubbier? What? <laughs> he looks chubby, I think, in this movie. Doctor Strange? Chris Pratt chubby? No, no, no. <laughs> Chris Pratt chubby. He looks bigger. He doesn't look like as, as uh, molded. You're talking about Doctor Strange, right? Yeah. Why loss? No. you thought it was a different person playing Doctor Strange? Because he looks chubbier. I was like, is this like no, a he prank? Looks the same. What the fuck? It's mm. probably because the suit. The suit that probably makes it. Maybe he gained <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <later. laughs> wait, 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 wait. He looks bigger. He does. I'm literally does. looking at the picture from Doctor Strange's movie compared to Spider-Man. He's got a little bit chubbier cheeks. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, it was like, he just doesn't seem... He also, his hair is not all, like, done up as good as it was. No, I swear he looks exactly the same. Mm, I mean, he's also wearing, like, a hoodie below his cloak, so that's also kind of weird. You know what? It's probably his neck beard. It's his chin stash. Sort of. It's going a little bit down to his neck. It's probably making it look bigger. Maybe. Maybe he Maybe. looks more like a, like, a, like a Hulk now. Not a Hulk. I have fucking... Hulk? What's Mark the Hulk? name? Like a, like a Brad... I don't know. You know what? Actually, uh, unpopular opinion. I don't think Mark Ruffalo is that good as the Hulk. I think he's okay. Yeah. I uh, I have no idea how the other guy would have done. I keep forgetting his name. Oh yeah, he's in Fight Club. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I totally forgot his name too. (laughs) I am excited for Sea Hulk though. She Hulk is that everyone be literally is shitting on that right now? Yeah, it's gonna be a really? Marvel series. Yeah, everyone's shitting on that. The trailer. She's one okay. I'm gonna be this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I love it when like superheroes look like ba bomb, like hot bitches. And you know, yeah. it wouldn't make sense for me to like all that, but I love cheesecake in anything. You know what cheesecake is? <laughs> I, I am fan service. 
sort of like fan yeah it's fan service like she hulk in the comics was 100 percent cheesecake and it was <laughs> they explored that and they're gonna make her cheesecake in this fucking series which i am excited for uh, i'm glad she's not yeah. like i'm glad she's not like a uh like fiona from shrek she's not gonna be like <laughs> I look like Sexualize an actual Hulk. the green giant <laughs> woman the cool, she's so, gotta look sexy like i like sexy like girls or sexy guys it just you know it's appealing to look at yeah yeah hey wait are we still are we still on this topic because i got i got something another unpopular opinion that i'd like to explore go, go for it yeah. i think if it'll we, be like we have the last time. thing we i think it'll be the last thing we talk about go for it yeah does anyone else have anything else to say i don't want to keep barging yeah. in mm-hmm. i'm good so Every time there is a male center in Marvel movie, which is the majority of them, right? They always right. have their shirts off and they always expose that kind of sex appeal about them. Right. But nowadays for, women, for yeah, it's like for women it's not it's not very equal when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but me personally, I think it needs to be a t- it needs to be a two-way street when it comes In to inequality. Like, yeah, yeah like we should these, at least see like the silhouette of like a tit or something like that. Jeez, like these women are Maybe fucking that, beautiful, like. but they're not. They their costumes they don't look sexy. The guys look sexy, like yeah, like you see big ass arms. You know, Chris Evans fucking pulling a piece of wood out, and you're like, damn. And then Brie <laughs> Larson looks like a frumpy, dumpy, like jumpsuit girl. I'm like, uh, well, well, Brie Larson's a horrible example. I, I think, mean, but then there's like the oversexualized ones, like um, that, yeah, um, Black Widow has only gotten skimpier clothing as a progress. I don't think Not I don't think they should Scarlet be Scarlet Witch cleavage. I think that's yeah. the most they can do is just cleavage. I wouldn't like a nice frame and cleavage. I think I'm good with oversexualization, like like a Mortal Kombat suit. No, I'm not looking for that, but. It needs to be like equal when it comes to that. They're more than willing to show butt for any fucking person because everyone has one. But for boobs, it's none exist. Well, they need to make yeah. a rated R Marvel movie, which is unfortunate. Like, <laughs> it's weird because like the trade off is well, no, is that even true? I think you can show tits in a PG thirteen actually. No, like bare tits. I think you can. You might be able to, but you I can't show anything know. else. Thank you. PG thirteen. I think the most you can say. I is think like nudity is R, shit. no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, I think you Maybe. can say one cuss word in PG thirteen. <laughs> one. I cuss think that's word? what it is. Literally. No, that's definitely yeah. not what it is. Yeah, it is. What? What rating was fucking oh, Endgame? PG thirteen. No way. Wait up. Do you think it was rated R? The biggest movie of the rated MCU R. was rated R. Nobody, no kids are allowed to see it. They're going to yeah, make Yeah, that would have been movie. awesome. Hell yeah, it would. But they need to market to the most amount of people they could. So they make it to PG-13. So like their Ew. dad can bring them to go see it. You know what I mean? True. Yeah, it does say, it does say PG-13. Um, oh, TV-14. <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know if i'm in the i'm in the wrong for saying that i mean no. i think everyone kind of has so. a good appeal for boobs you know yeah. men or yeah. women it's like the first thing we come in contact with is boobs so it's it's kind of cool to see it. Up. <laughs> what, what were we talking about earlier something about sucking tits for dreams <laughs> yeah give me those lucid dreams bitch <laughs> God, I can't wait to make the thumbnail for this one. Uh, I think that's it, though. I think we gotta stop there. Wrap it up. Uh, who, clo- who fucking closed last time? It was Kelly, right? Yeah, he was monotone. Yeah. I'm not gonna let him do it again. Uh, ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I- I'll close it. Alright, thank you guys for listening to this episode of Camping Buddies. It's been a lot of fun talking about uh, piss dreams, piss kinks, uh, the Marvel Universe, <laughs> ba- bathroom no, no sackings, uh, foreskins again. Um, yeah. I mean, it's cameo appearance. BBLs. <laughs> well, as we go down the list. But yeah, um, if you guys want to listen to more of these, there's an entire playlist on my channel. 
Uh, go ahead and check them out. Uh, make sure you listen to the one that we talk about Hector's piss kink in. It's pretty good. Yeah. And, Not uh, piss kink. Uh, the beginning even one. the one right before this is awesome. We talk about uh, my foreskin in particular. It's pretty great. Yeah. Um, that's not great. I didn't finish that episode in listening because of that <laughs> yeah this is not there for that episode but that just makes it even better anyway guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye bye, bye. <laughs>